Hello, Hello, my name is Joe Mathias. I am currently a fourth year student here at UMass Boston. I went over to China. I was in the city of Beijing and I studied at the People's University of China, otherwise known as Renmin Dashue. Konnichiwa, Arvan des, Soka Daigok de, Benkyo Shimashita. Hi, my name is Arvan Sahakian. My major is English and I'm minoring in Japanese. And last spring and summer semester, I studied abroad in Tokyo at Soka University. I studied abroad at the University of Oxford in Oxford, England. Uh, I decided to study abroad at the University of Limerick, Ireland because of my major, which is economics. When you study economics, what you study would be more of how countries' policies affect the entire country. I had a very unique experience. My classes were all language classes. They were all conducted in Chinese. I lived with a Chinese family as well. So it was a very immersive environment and a, really a unique experience for me. I had like a one-on-one -on -one tutor. So I met with my professor once a week. I would go meet with my professor and then we'd talk about an essay that I wrote, which I had to do a whole bunch of research and reading throughout the week. My host family was great. They had a 10-year-old son and a 3-year-old son, so we used to play games together and make paper airplanes and things like that. And I used to give him some English tutoring lessons during the week. So I really had a great experience with them. I stayed in the dorms and uh, I had three roommates. One kid from China, another kid from Ireland, and uh, the other kid is from Boston. The particular study abroad program I went on was a reciprocal exchange program with Soka University, which means that all you have to do is pay your regular UMass tuition just like you would any other semester, and Soka covered the dorm expenses, so you'd had no additional costs. Also, we had the Casey Lamb Scholarship, which helped me out a lot. Casey Lamb donates money to this study abroad program every year for students to go and live in Japan, and it was a huge help. Cherry blossom season in Japan is something that everybody ought to see. It is absolutely gorgeous. One of the places that I went that was maybe the most beautiful was Jiujaigo, which is a world famous national park in China. The waters are clear all the way to the bottom of these crystal blue lakes and it's, it's just such an incredible uh, natural environment to be able to see. I think about Oxford every day and my trip every day and I think every day I experience something or like do something with what I learned in mind. I made a lot of friends and with that I learned how similar we are even if we live in two different continents. I learned how much similar we are. For someone studying abroad, don't even doubt yourself. Just do it because you're gonna have a lifetime experience making a lifetime friends and something that you will never forget and that can help you for your entire life. Don't be afraid, get out of your comfort zone, and just do it. You got nothing to lose, you're in college, this is the time. If you don't do it now, you're not gonna do it later, so do it now.